Hey guys, today we're taking a look at another cool RV product, the Bluetti. Sounds Italian, doesn't it? And it's from a company called Max Oak. They call this a portable power generator. I call it a power brick. It's really a giant lithium battery. It outputs DC current and it has an AC inverter to output AC current. <clears throat> what sets this guy apart from all the others we've tried is capacity. It has 1500 watt hours of power. That's almost quadruple the largest such unit we've ever tested before. It has a 1000 watt inverter built into it. That means you could use it to run, for example, blenders or maybe even power tools. On the face of the unit, you will see power button, which we can toggle on, and there's a little LCD display. Come on. And this operates almost silently. You can recharge this battery in two ways. The first is through AC current, and it takes about 10 hours to fully charge if you're plugged into AC current. The second is using solar, and the company includes cable so that you can attach solar panels to the battery. The recharge time with solar all depends on your setup. More on that later. There are four USB outlets for charge ports, and there's also a USB-C outlet that's up to 45 watts. And so you could use this to even power and charge a laptop, for example. And you can use these to charge your portable electronic devices. I just turned on the DC current, and we'll turn on the AC too. And there's also a good old fashioned cigarette lighter <laughs> outlet. This does output clean sine wave energy, so you can use it to charge sensitive electronics without worry about damaging the electronics. And we're gonna look on the back side of the device and you'll see there is a cooling fan and there are two AC outlets up to 1000 watts of output. I think the design is nice. On the top, you've got a grab handle, which comes in handy since this weighs about 38 pounds. So I would compare it in terms of weight to a 2000 watt class generator. The case is a pretty nice clean design. Uh, this is actually aluminum, which helps apparently with the dispersion of heat. It's time for the critical fan test. I have here a garden variety floor fan. We're just gonna plug it up to the Blue Eddy and see how it performs. Into the AC outlet goes the plug. AC power is on and there goes the fan. All right, now we're gonna look at the display and you can see that the fan is drawing 77 watts of current. Now I'm gonna toggle the speed of the fan just a bit. So you could run a fan like this for, I would say approximately around 20 hours. And this is a pretty big floor fan. And I know that some people have asked about things like floor fans because they want to use these on game day or at trade shows or what have you. So it passes the fan test of flying colors. Now let's move on to something a little more challenging. If you've watched our channel for a while, you recognize this guy. This was my wife's jet engine of a hair dryer. She has since retired this. So this does full duty now in the garage testing different power devices. So we're gonna plug up the Rusk Speed Freak and proceed with our little torture test. Uh, this thing at max will draw 1850 watts of current, but that would be at high heat and high fan. So we're going to start it low fan and no heat. Let me pop this on the back. So it's drawing 200 watts of current, no problem. I'm gonna kick it up. The high fan, and now we're drawing 
350 watts of current, no problem. So now I'm gonna kick on heat. So I've got it on warm but not hot and it's drawing right at 1000 watts and it's working. And it's pretty darn hot actually. So you could absolutely run a hair dryer and dry your hair with this. Now if I kick it up to hot on the heat setting, it should overload the Bluetti. Sorry Bluetti, it's gotta be done. So now we just overloaded it and it kicked off and we got an error code. It comes with a manual with a list of error codes and we were getting error 13, which means overload protection of inverter. So yeah, we overloaded it. But overall, I would say the Bluetti passed the hairdryer test because you could actually run the hairdryer with warm heat on the high fan. So here we are in our Airstream. We're currently in a parking lot somewhere in Arkansas. As you know, we carry a fuel generator that we carry in the back of our truck that we use for really heavy power demands. And it's running right now. And I just shut it off because there are a lot of times when you don't want to be running a gasoline power generator because it can be noisy and guess what it uses gasoline <laughs> so here we see the bluetti in our airstream it's about the size of briefcase i will keep it tucked up against this cabinet since it's pretty heavy piece of equipment it stays planted like it actually would take a lot of side to side motion to knock this thing over and on the bottom it does have uh four pretty sturdy rubber feet they keep it that way. So I was happy to see that. So there is actually some benefit to this device weighing 40 pounds. <laughs> At the moment, I am recharging a phone, recharging a still camera and recharging a video camera and powering my laptop. And it's telling me the total draw for all that is only uh, about 33 watts, give or take. And this is all using DC current. Now, I could power my laptop using AC current, but that would be inefficient because the DC would have to be converted to AC. So it's much better if you have a cable for your laptop. This was not included with Bluetti. This is a separate purchase. And I'll put a link to this. If, if you're the type of person who works on your laptop a lot on the road, then you'll want to have a DC laptop power cable this thing is incredibly handy. So it just sort of plugs in to the cigarette lighter, so-called port on your Blue Eddy or your RV if you have DC outlets in your RV. I really like that you're able to power or recharge multiple devices at a time. And the capacity is just incredible. I could run my laptop for, I believe, 22 hours using the Blue Eddy. Uh, you just have to do a little bit of math, figure out how many watts your particular appliance requires, and then take 1,500 watt hours, do a little math, <laughs> and you can figure out how long you can power your particular device. It's not completely noiseless. You can hear a cooling fan blowing, but it's pretty quiet, and it's much, much more quiet than a gasoline power generator. There's no comparison there. All right guys, now we have moved on to lovely Nebraska and we're gonna show you another real world test of the Bluetti, 38 pounds of lithium battery. We're going to top off the tire pressures on our trailer using the 1000 watt AC inverter in the Blue Eddy. And I carry around this little air compressor with us. It's quite small and portable and will inflate tires up to, I believe, 150 PSI. So you can see I've plugged in the air compressor to the Blue Eddy on the AC side of things. Now I'm going to 
turn on the unit and turn on the AC power and now it's time to check our tire pressures all right we're about five psi low so that little compressor gets a little bit noisy I don't know if you can make this out but it's drawing about 223 watts so this outputs 120 volt household type AC current and it's running the compressor just fine it's nice to have options when you travel especially if you're into boondocking and it's working great this is really not even a very heavy demand for this blue eddy All right, let's move on to the next tire. All right guys, now we have a true test of the Blue Eddy. We're going to attach our beast of a blender, which is a portable Vitamix. If you're familiar with Vitamix, these are sort of semi-professional <laughs> blenders. I don't know how much power this draws. I guess we're about to find out. And we're gonna make a smoothie. We travel around, I like to make smoothies sometimes for breakfast. Making a smoothie when you're boondocking can be a bit of a messy job, but it's a healthy way to start the day. Makes for a healthy snack too. So you can actually buy these pre-made smoothie packs that make it really easy and convenient. I have the Bluetti turned on with AC current turned on and our Vitamix is plugged in. We're gonna put the lid on so we don't make a tremendous mess here and see what happens. Are we ready? So that's drawing about 500 watts of current on uh, kind of the low setting of the Vitamix. And I'm sure as I dial this up, it's gonna demand more current. Can you see that on the readout? Dialing it up even more. You can see the current demand going up. We're at over 600 watts. So kind of up at max, and it's at 600 watts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to put it on the smoothie setting, which I believe is here. So it's handling the demands of this Vitamix with ease. like even at the highest power demand from the Vitamix, it's drawing a little under 600 watts of current. And again, we have a 1,000 watt inverter. And now our draw is over 600 watts. Still handling it just fine. Go Bluetti. So here's the job it did. Not bad, eh? That is a real deal smoothie. Nice job, Bluetti and Vitamix. Ah. All right, guys, that is a look at the Bluetti EB150 lithium power brick by Max Oak. Now, I really don't know much about Max Oak, except they design and sell these sort of devices. However, they say that the power cores inside this device are the LG brand and that they are automotive level quality. And it does come with a one year warranty. So I would assume that if you have any issues over the course of your first year of ownership, that they would take care of you. I mentioned earlier that I'd be discussing solar in more detail later in this video. I lied. <laughs> well, I'll discuss solar just a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have the solar panels necessary to recharge this unit. I've been using the AC adapter, which works very well. 
And so typically if we're on the road, when we do stop in a full hookup type of campground, I will top off the power inside the Bluetti. And then when we're out there boondocking, I can just tap into it anytime I need it. The capacity of this device is pretty incredible to me. It's easily the most powerful and the best designed of this type of device that I've tested myself. So with regard to solar, at some point in the future, we may attach some solar panels to our Bluetti and see how it performs. Now, it's my understanding that if you are in perfect conditions for solar and you have the appropriate panels attached to this device, you could theoretically repower it in only three hours. But I haven't tried that myself, so take that for what it's worth. I think in a realistic scenario, it's probably going to take a good bit longer to recharge the Bluetti using solar. More on that in a future video. And I also want to point out, if you wanted, you could actually transport this to your vehicle and recharge it as you drive down the highway. If you pick up a little, say, 300 watt DC to AC power inverter, put this in your car, plug up the adapter to this guy, and then just recharge as you roll down to your next destination. Thanks to Max Oak for sending us the Bluetti to show you guys. If you're interested in picking one up, check out the description beneath this video. There may be a special coupon code in there for you guys. Until next time, we continue to meander around North America with our Airstream in tow. If you're going to be anywhere near Yellowstone in the next month, keep your eyes peeled. You just might see us. Lolo ho.